Hello and welcome back to part two of this Teal Street educational tutorial series. So in the first part of this series video, we had talked about the features of Teal Street itself and showed how to set up your API keys. Now, once they are set up, then you will be able to log in and you see a screen that looks a little something like this. So we could start trading straight away just with the screen looking like this. But if you're anything like me, you like things to be all neat and tidy and aesthetically pleasing. So we're gonna go over a little bit of that in this video. So first of all, let's just go through each of the features uh, from the top and work our way down. <clears throat> so we know the trade tab, that's where we are. We've got our API keys right next to that. And then you've got your history. So any trades that you have taken on the exchange, you can look at your equity curve, you can look at your position history and so on through each of the connected APIs exchanges that you have. If you go over here, if you end up like something bugs out, which I have to be honest, um, I've never really had to do this, but you can refresh and that will set everything back to normal. You have the ref links here and you have the docs and you have various alerts so you can set up some alerts for yourself. So below this menu, you have the trading terminal modules themselves. Now you can just start trading from this straight away. Okay, you can see the place order tabs are here. You've got the order book, you can see your margin, you can see the charts. But if you're anything like me, you want to make things a little bit more visually appealing. So it's just a very simple way to move around these, these templates. It's just, it's a drag and drop kind of thing. You can move everything around into the order that you want them. And it's all very much intuitive. As you move something, everything else will move with it. So a little bit of dragging and dropping placement should get you in a pretty good position to give you the kind of look and feel aesthetically that you want to achieve. So for my personal setup, mine looks like this, where I have my chart in the middle. I have a couple of basic side charts here. I've got AgriTrade rolling, the order book depth, uh, the ticker symbols here, my margin, placing orders, and then I can see my open positions and my equity if I scroll down. I have included a link to this workspace, which you can just go to your workspaces over here, click edit, and then you can import uh, if you would like to use the one that I have set up here. But if you want to create your own workspace, then I will show you quickly how you can do that. First of all, I would always recommend go to the uh, workspaces, click on edit, and then click duplicate if you want to create a new workspace or if you want to start editing your workspaces. So for this, this is my streaming workspace. Um, I'll just do this as stream two. The reason for this is because it does auto save. And if you make some changes and you've forgotten what you've done, then it's a bit difficult to get back there uh, if you haven't. Um, got a backup saved that you can easily go back to. And I would also recommend like keep that default view there. So create yourself a duplicate and then you can play around with that one. Next, what you want to do is to go into the settings and you want to go into the module section. So this will show you all the different modules that are available. We've got AgriTrade, basic charts, which are what you see just here. So these are trading view charts um, that you can type in the ticker name and they'll come up. This is separate to the main uh, charts, which shows you your actual positions. These are just side charts that give you uh, anything else that you would like to view. You've got your browser view, so you can add in like a little web browser into there chart view which is the main chart uh, depth chart equity chart you you can see all of the, the main ones if you've got a lot of api keys you can just select your favorites here you can select your favorite markets so if we just x out this you've got favorite markets and you've got last markets these are just at the top so these are the favorites so you can add in any of the uh, assets that you trade regularly and then the ones that you've traded most recently will be here on your most recent um, ones so i keep those at the top just so i can easily navigate through the different markets if we go back into the modules, below that you've got your margin, open orders, open positions, order book, place order, position history, risk profile, screen, ethics, chart, Twitter feed, and Twitch chat. So the thing with the Twitch chat is it is um, uh, Teal Street have a Twitch feed that runs a lot of the time. So this is the chat for that that's always open. If you've got your Twitter feed, then um, what we can see here, if we just add this on, it's quite a cool little feature. You can see the liquidations, bots, news, and traders. And you can see as you add these modules, they just place themselves into the chart, but you can drag and drop them wherever you want them to be. 
So as for the other settings, they're all fairly self-explanatory. You don't really need to change anything on here, but you can have a look through and play around with them. On your trading view, you can show your PL on the chart. You can choose to show um, where your positions were and uh, play around with those. When you do your place order, you can customize the buttons. So if you have set position sizes that you want to use, this is the default. But if you say you want just one that's like $100, um, then you can change that to 100 and you can just go for single measurement. So you can just go dollar and then you've got thousands and then you've got millions if you're a big old whale and you'd like to do this. Uh, you've got offset as well. So if you want to um, like offset your order by six or 30 ticks so that then you say, okay, I want to place a limit and you just want to go try and get something that's really quickly filled, then you can just use these offsets. You've got the hotkeys, which we're going to cover in just a moment um, on another video. Back to the modules, back to the Twitter, so you can customize your Twitter feed. And then you've got some other various features in here and you can, um, any like exchange specific customization that is within the um, options as well. The other little buttons that you have up here on the top, you can lock it. So that means that you can't move around anything anymore, which is kind of useful if you're clumsy like me, because sometimes when I have this unlocked and I'm like, oh no, what have I done? And then you've ruined everything. Uh, so then yeah, click the lock button, keep it all um, nice and static. So you're not making any mistakes there. <coughs> you can go full screen. You can have your alerts on and off and you can choose to hide your position size uh, on here. So if we go over onto my buy bits where I actually have uh, some trades here, then you can see I can hide the position size so that then you're not doxing how much of a whale or minnow you may be. Um, you can toggle on or off your hotkeys. So if you're just typing away um, on something else, doing something else, you can turn your hotkeys off. If you're actively trading, turn your hotkeys on, then you can use your hotkeys to just quickly execute trades. Uh, you got your workspaces, your APIs here, and then this here is to choose your market. So if you want to search for, say, Pepe, then you can do that. You can click on the market, uh, so buy bit here, uh, which is automatically highlighted. It will just go to whatever exchange you're on. Or if you go to all markets, then you can choose all the different Pepe markets and you can like choose to go, okay, look, I want to look on the Binance Pepe market. I don't have an API for that, but there is the chart. And finally, if you want to be really wild, then you can go over here and you can change your theme. I haven't done this yet, but you can change all the colors, all of like the candlestick colors, the background colors. You can really go a little bit crazy with this. I should probably do it because we can make it like a little bit more Taurus themed and I'll upload that template as well once I've done that. And then we can get all of our, uh, our own color scheme in there. And once again, you can choose different um, presets that are on here. So we could go, oh, let's change it to this or, oh, let's change it to kitty whatever that is oh my god that is bright <laughs> change it to bitmex make it look a bit like old and funky um yeah you get the idea right and now that we've got our chart looking all lovely aesthetically pleasing we are ready to start trading and that is in part three of this video series thank you